Jachupa, the champion around this country. We have been looking into Northampton's black urban music and I've been told troopers are the guys I need to speak to. We listen to by anywhere. Oh, I love the troopers crew. Troopers are a wicked sound system. Troopers, they're sick. Back since back in the day. So I've been a follower from way back in the day. I've supported them 100%. I think the truth is as far as just me, I like the truth is man. Truth was for years man. That big still, it's a, it's a variety of music. Tubers, like I said, like I said, they're, they're, they're big boys in their game, you know what I mean? Yeah, right now, Troopers family, yeah. Troopers dynamite zone, you know what I mean? Top of the top. Troopers are one of Northamptonshire's leading black urban music entertainment providers. The group have been going for over 10 years and have developed a production, promotion and an established sound system. Yeah, us the D from the Troopers camp. M is for the melody, the tune that I'm bringing. You can hear the vocal sounds out and clear when I'm singing. Surely it's the music that influences people, created by the longest run through my veins. Stormer, aka the Illis. Yo, this is Little J from the Troopers family. So yeah, big up Little J, massive, right? Very poorly supported from like the higher offices, but then also coming down the ladder like radio stations, venues. And I don't even know if I'll call it a scene as a whole, you get me, because there's bare things going on. There's people fragmented here, there, couple people doing their thing. There's nowhere to go, you know what I mean, for the, for the youngers and anyone that's interested in music down there, you see what I'm saying? They're in a proper studio. It's only like Trooper Studio, you know what I mean, which we've set up our, ourselves, you understand? This is one of the main reasons why we started holding our own shows. But then even when we started doing that, we still come across stumbling blocks when we'd approach venues and they'd know the sort of stuff what we do. We're doing, we are doing things for the whole town, you see what I'm saying? We're putting on shows, putting, if we hear people are working, we're putting them on and that. So people do hear man's material, when man put out CDs and that, when man do dances, but... has got potential for the black urban music industry. And this is clearly proven by the amount of artists what we've got down here. Um, to support what we get when we do hold events. And even when you go out like on Fridays and Saturdays, for as much as they're normal bars and, and nightclubs and that, when you go out, you will see that it is black urban music that gets the people moving. There's not, there's not a thing where you can say, yeah, this is where I'll go to hear urban music from Northampton. I do also think that we as the Northampton people are partly responsible because for as much as there's a, there's a hard fight and there is lack of support for our music, I do see that there is only a, a very small minority of us who are actually trying to make something happen. Northampton as a whole, it's everyone's doing their thing in their ends, you see what I'm saying? That everyone's got their own little hustle, everyone's got their own little fan base over here, over there. But like, as a whole scene, Say a man MC in Northampton makes a new tune, yeah. There's not a way to say the whole of Northampton's gonna hear that tune. Cause it's not a thriving scene like that. It's not like there's people eager to hear everyone's thing. The fans out there they're looking to hear their brethren's thing. So nothing don't really circulate big like that in a major way. From speaking to the guys, you can see the level of activity in the area is very low. There's only a few people trying to keep it alive. The guys have offered us to escort me around Northamptonshire to show me those people. DJ Prince.
principle. Um, I'm a DJ. Um, I run a record shop in Northampton called Sidewinder Records. Um, I've had a shop about eight years. Um, I've been DJing for over 25 years. Wow. That's in like the reggae business from the sound systems come right through to solo DJing. From what I've seen, um, especially within about the last year and a half, well about the last year, I'm noticing that there is some talent coming up. There um, seem to be more producers coming up now. So. Um, the couple of producers that I actually know, I'm trying to get them collaborated so that they can start working together, as well as all the artists that I see coming up as well. Quite a few. Like, you've got like Jam D. Jam D's a producer that's working with a few local guys. Um, there's also another brother called Merlin, which um, is a good brother as well that's trying to make, that's trying to push things forward as well with people he's working with as well. And apart from that, um, I'd say, Apart from that, you've got Champagne Bubbly TV, which he's trying to do his own little thing where he's bringing people in, interviewing people, such forth, and same as Daniel and Trooper's entertainment unit that I've known for years. So them man now, I would say, are helping to collaborate people and bring out artists, you know what I mean, on their events and stuff. I would like to see, like, um, people putting out some mixtapes, you know, like mixtapes, um, probably a few more few more shows with, that, that can profile artists that are coming up and things like that. Okay. Um, but I really, I think the most important thing, I think, would be people to try and work together. Okay. Um, I know everybody's got their own individual ideas and projects and things, but that's good, but as a unit, we need to work. We need to work as a unit. I mean, you see it in Leicester, Birmingham, everybody collaborates and works. Northampton, like I get people bringing their mixtapes in or they'll bring in a track and I'm saying but boy you might need to be collaborating with other people and having a mixtape out from Northampton that's got all the artists on them. Okay. And me as here as an outlet, I'm the man. Why not? You know what I mean? I'm the community shop so if you've got any products or anything, bring them to the shop and we'll see what we can do for you. Yeah, I'm Bernard. I am the business owner of Icon's Barbershop in Northampton and also the promoter of Brown Sugar Promotions, a local promotion. I started basically because I didn't see enough of a variation on offer in Northampton. There was only two, maybe three different urban musical outlets and I feel that you know, the town needed more, something else on offer as well as what, what was available at the time. My overall views on Northampton's urban scene is that there is a lot of talent here in Northampton, but um, I still don't think there are, there's enough outlets for people to be able to express themselves and put on show the talents that they have. I don't think there's enough studios for people to spend time in. I don't think there's enough outlets. There's only really sound the records that where you could probably go and, and buy local talents CDs and stuff. You know, a lot of people are having to hustle off their own back without a lot of help from, from anywhere really. There's a couple of local barbershops that, that might sell CDs there. There's, again, Sidewinder Records, but other than that, there's nowhere else for these guys to go. What I'd like to see from the music scene in Northampton is, at some point, this is something I'd like to do, you know, a bar or a nightclub that will let local talent express themselves somewhere where they can go on any given night and show the world what they have to do. Um, I think that's the main thing that they need. My name's Carl and I do music on the market as you can see and I also part of a sound system called Horizon Star which is also based in the Thompson. I joined the sound system about five, six years ago and that was through a guy called Jimmy because I used to work in a club Atlantis and he introduced me to them people so that's how I got into the sound system and from the sound system I was like yeah man this is nice, nice I've always wanted to do that you see so getting into that thing was nice for me and with the market I've been doing it for about four or five years now and the reason why I did it because even though we had 
some music shops she had like spinner disc for certain music had sidewinder for some other music you always we needed a really a shop where you have focus more so on reggae culture and also clothesline and other accessories to do with the Caribbean as well as Rastafara culture and it wasn't really that much in a fancy at the time so I, I took it upon myself and speaking to a few others that we could do a thing on the market and with the urban music it's not really to me personally it's not as big as it should be because urban music at the end of the day it's still music and it's internationally known worldwide so personally the music we should have more clubs where we focus on urban music like R&B, hip hop and reggae and there's not at this time, day and age in Northampton there's not one really that I could call an urban music club even though we have sound systems running promotions doing nights which is still good and positive but there still needs to be really a club that I can call where you can say it's urban music there's a few people that I can see making a difference like some young sound systems promotions not just regular music they've got like hip-hop music they're using grime music and they're, and they're doing R&B music so I can see a lot of positive things happening with the young people and pushing it which is a good thing sometimes with the elders now again could be my biased opinion there's not so much going at the moment really for doing the elders and working with young people because that's where it is there's the elders there the young people there there's no unity there at the moment so that's why there's separation and not many things going as there should be yeah right now it's war but you know what I'm saying Downside, CBS, you know what I mean? Black clothing all day. Got the clothes going on, clothes getting sold, all that kind of stuff going on around here. I do hip hop myself, get me on producing. I got to produce a couple of grime tracks. You know what I mean? I'm just spitting on that downside thing. Got a video on Channel U, you know what I'm saying? Man, just trying to get that exposure. You know what I mean? Check it out, it's called Downside. Northampton's got a lot of talent that ain't really getting noticed. You know what I mean? That's the way I really feel about the situation. The people out here with bars, people out here making beats. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think Northampton is getting the recognition that it deserves as like the biggest town around here. You know what I'm saying? Next to the city, it's the towns, you get me? So, you know, right in the middle, we've got Birmingham that way, London that way. It's a good place for everyone to come down and link up and get this thing popping. I think more could be done. Um, to support the youths trying to do their music and trying to get into acting. It's not just music, it's acting, dance, everything. I mean, there's a lot of talent out here. And I think that if the people higher up in the scale put some of that money to, to for the youth them to use around here, there'll be a lot more going on and there'll be a lot more entertainment in the future. I'd like to see more people like VV Brown putting their name out there, Little J, Know what I'm saying? Got shows going on all over the place. Just a recognition thing, man. Like, I'm all for it. Like, if I had the money, I'd do it myself. What well, you know? Gotta look to higher authorities for that, you know? Yeah, yeah, this is DK, yeah. You're at DK's barbershop. You know what I'm saying? Just open about what? I don't know, five months ago? Five, six months ago. It's going all right, you get me? The music scene, yeah. yeah. I think it needs, well, because I, I make music as well, yeah, I think it needs more um, exposure, man. It needs more exposure, you get me? There's some big artists, big talents out here, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. A man's ain't, a man's ain't getting recognised too tough, you get me? It's more, more a London thing, innit, right now, so. I like to see a lot more people getting out there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. People like taking advantage of the talent that's out here, man. Because there's obviously like some big names out here, you get me? Mm. You got old Liquid J and all that. You got, you know, Uno Man doing your thing as well, you get me? Everyone's views so far show there are concerns surrounding the scene, but the question is, what do the public think? Do you listen to urban music? Yeah, whenever I can. Wow, it's the sweetest thing you can find. Yeah, of course I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah. 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 A little bit, yeah. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Yes, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I do. Yeah, man, yeah, man, of course. Yeah, I'm fine. Yes, man, regular. Yeah, I do.
do, yeah, hold them on. Yeah. Up with it, cause me have to listen to um one extra, cause nothing in an tom tom right now. And what do you think of Northampton's urban music scene? Need more. Too commercial. It needs to get bigger. It's okay, but they need a club. Not really much of a, um places for me to go, like the type of music that I listen to. There's not much around. There's a lot of flyers that go around and leaflets and stuff. So apart from that, that's about it really. Need a bit more tables time. there's an event going on there isn't really a place where you can go and listen to that sort of music not really saying like that um it could be a lot better poor which this is a this is a multiracial community right. more like party in parts because we never had to get that it used to be good if it needs anything it needs something to bring people who are doing the same thing together i want to hear more man name in northampton i want to hear them Speaking with the public, it is clear there is a high demand for black urban music in Northampton. All the different views have given us a vision of what needs to happen, but the question is, what will happen? We've got a lot of talent around here that ain't getting released. The youth, they were here and make music. They like their music and it's so airy. A lot of what's coming out is pretty good. Yeah, my name's Steady Dan. On the artist, do a little bit of tunes now and again. Like, rap, used to do grind, but I don't really do it too much no more. What you're saying, is it cool if I spit? Showing off fears what they used to, making it clear I don't spit on grime like I used to. It's not that I don't want to or I refuse to, I'm busting the track when there's nothing to do. Pressure is my thoughts, and my thoughts are under pressure, carrying force with my words that make you happy or the pressure. Taking my time thinking raw, it's now or never. Making your mind if it's a hard to design with no effort. It's one of them. It's the music. It's the music. Yeah.